मॉर्निंग Good morning. I welcome all the shareholders. Good morning. I welcome all the shareholders, directors, and all others present. The requisite quorum is present, so we can begin the meeting. I would like to introduce the board of directors who have joined the meeting. Online, Mr. Rajendra Shah, Mr. Mukun Chitale, Mrs. Shubhlakshmi Panse, Mr. Samveg Lal Bhai. With me here on the stage are Mr. Sushim Datta. Mr. Baldev Arora, Mr. Pradeep Banerjee, Mr. Bharati Mohanan, and uh, Mr. Gopi Kanan, Lalit Patni, Company Secretary, is also present. The statutory auditors and secretarial auditors, who will also be the scrutinizer for this annual general meeting. And a few senior executives of the company are also present. Annual report, which includes standalone and consolidated financial statements, auditor's report, and the notice of the meeting are already circulated to the shareholders. I request that the notice convening the meeting be taken as read. The auditor's report does not contain any qualifications, and thus the same is not required to be read, as provided in Section 145 of the Companies Act 2013. As this meeting is through video conferencing, I will now like to request Lalit uh, our company secretary to explain the manner in which the proceedings will be conducted and the related matters. Good morning to all. I welcome you all to this virtual AGM held in accordance with relevant circulars issued by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs and the SEBI. I would like to take you through certain important points. The facility of joining the AGM through VC is being made available for the shareholders on first come first serve basis. Live streaming of this meeting is being done through the Atul website. All the shareholders who are attending the meeting are by default placed on mute mode to avoid any disturbance due to background noise and ensure smooth and seamless conduct of the meeting. Once the question and answer session begins, the chairman will first answer those questions which were received in advance and thereafter he will announce the names of the shareholders who have registered as speaker shareholders. The speaker shareholders will thereafter be unmuted each speaker shareholder will get two minutes to speak. I request the shareholders not to repeat any questions already answered. 
Other shareholders may lose their questions, if any, in the question and answer panel by 11 a.m. with their names, folio number, and number of shares held. When a shareholder starts speaking, he she is requested to cl click the video on button and unmute. While speaking, the speaker shareholder is requested to use a earphones so that he she is clearly audible. In order to have good audio video experience, speaker shareholders are requested to ensure that Wi-Fi is not connected to any other device. No other background applications are running and there is proper lighting at the place from where the speaker is participating. If there is connectivity problem for a speaker shareholder, we will ask the next speaker to join in and speak. Once the connectivity improves, the shareholder will be called back, called again to speak. The shareholders were given the option of remote e-voting. The remote e-voting commenced at 9 a.m. on July 26, 2022 and closed at 5 p.m. on July 28, 2022. The shareholders who have not cast their votes through remote e-voting may cast their votes during the AGM through CDSL, NSDL, NSDL. Their depository participant e-voting portal as per the instructions given in the notice of AGM, which will remain open up to 30 minutes from the close of the meeting. Since the meeting is held through VC, the requirement to propose and second the resolution does not apply. Register of directors and key managerial personnel and register of contracts are available for inspection online. Shareholders desiring to inspect them may send an email to shareholders at the rate atul.co.in from their registered email ID quoting the folio number. For a VC meeting, proxy is not allowed. Hence, register of proxies will not be available for inspection. During the AGM, if any shareholder faces a technical issue, he, she may contact the helpline numbers mentioned in the notice of the AGM. Thank you. Over to Chairman. Fellow shareholders, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Board of Directors, and Team Atul, I welcome you to the annual general meeting of our company via video conferencing. My colleagues and I will try to make this interaction worthwhile. You may already have gone through the interactive annual report prepared for the first time to make it easy to navigate and provide a better user experience. I trust you have found the annual report comprehensive, transparent, and well presented. And I also wish to thank you for your time to attend the AGM. I have divided my speech mainly in three parts. Part one is about why the PBT was almost stagnant. Although I must mention that we achieved the highest profit last year from operations, and what we are going to do to improve the existing operations. Part two is about the new projects under implementation and what our company hopes to achieve during the coming 36 months. And part three is about what we are doing to build a strong team required for the two endeavors above and for ensuring continuity. I trust you'll find the answers to some of the questions you may already have. Just to recap, in 21-22, standalone sales was about 4,900 crore, increased by 42%. Of this, 16% was from volume. Profit before tax at rupees 804 crore, increased only by 4%. EBITDA at 19%, and ROC at 24% were lower by seven and four percentage points. The subdued performance was mainly because of high raw material and fuel prices and high freight rates, which we were not able to pass on. Further, the projects have yet to deliver. Our company introduced 25 new products and formulations and sold to 238 new customers. The board has recommended 250% dividend against the 200% of the year before. Our company also completed buyback of equity shares of rupees 70 crore. This was the second buyback. And I hope that you are happy with both the buyback and the dividend. 
Our company received dividend of rupees 4 crore from its subsidiary and JV entities. Dividend income is expected to go up after Atul Bioscience, Atul Rajasthan Date Palms, Anavin, and Amal streamline their operations and commission their projects. In 21 22, combined sales at rupees 518 crore of subsidiary, JV, and associate entities increased by 68%. However, profit before tax at rupees 47 crore increased only by 12%. The lower rise in profit before tax that we were as such anticipating was mainly because of poor performance of Ambarnath site of Atul Bioscience, ongoing stabilization of Atul Rajasthan date palms, initial difficulties in Anavin, and very high input cost in Amal. Furthermore, we had higher interest in depreciation in general. We are sure to resolve these problems. We are working to generate savings in procurement and logistics, increase efficiencies in manufacturing, and raise sales so as to bring a step change in the standalone and consolidated performance. For securing such initiatives, we are further strengthening the processes and equally the organization. For example, we are introducing a portal that will help improve procurement decisions. We are also in the process of adding eight new resources for decreasing utilities and 20 for increasing sales. At this time, projects with investment of rupees 1,600 crores are under implementation. In our company, it is 710 crore. In its subsidiary entities, it is 800 crores. In the JV entity, it is 10 crore. And associate entity, it is 80 crore. These projects and those completed in 2021-22 and in this fiscal, minus the sales already realized from such projects, will have the potential to add at current prices and full capacity sales of rupees 2300 crores. Our company is now developing a new manufacturing site at Panoli in Gujarat. This number does not include the increase in sales in the two retail businesses we are confident to attain. These two businesses are crop protection retail and performance retail. The market potential in both these businesses in India and outside is very high. And we are building processes and people capabilities to and introducing new products. Crop protection retail and polymer retail achieved sales of rupees 176 crore and rupees 211 crore in 21-22, which were higher by 15% and 43% respectively if compared with those in 2021. Sales and profit before tax of our company in the second decade of 21st century, that is from 2010-11 to 2020-21, grew by 227% and 478%. As compared with the first decade, that is from 2001 to 2011, in which sales and PBT grew by 180% and 827%. It will be our endeavor to move forward with new insights gained over the years to sustain performance over time and thus add value to the key stakeholders, namely customers, team members, suppliers, communities, and shareholders. In 2021, in sorry, in 20, 2010-11, our company had two subsidiary entities and one production entity with a combined sales of rupees 18 crore 
and a loss of rupees 3 crore. In 2021, the number of such entities, include, including 3 JVs, had increased to 9 with a combined sales of rupees 309 crore and profit before tax of 42 crore. In 21 22, these entities had combined sales of rupees 518 crore and profit before tax of 47 crore. In essence, the trend is positive and encouraging. The rationales of establishing such entities, though may vary, were and are carefully contemplated. Businesses which consistently do better are differentiated by the commitment, competence, and personal purpose of their people. And now our company is enlarging its HR team and further improving its HR processes related to recruitment, employee care, and training. For example, 12 new positions are created to strengthen HR. Technology is deployed in almost all HR processes to make them more efficient and effective. Our company achieved sales of rupees 1407 crore and profit before tax of rupees 213 crore for the first quarter and at June 30, 2022. Profit before tax may have been higher by rupees 35 crore, but for the write off consequent to fire in a plant at Atul site. Insurance claim at reinstatement value is under progress. EBITDA at 19% and return on capital employed at 23% continued to be lower than the best achieved due to higher input costs and lower capacity utilization, particularly of new assets which were added. The production subsidiary, JV, and associate entities achieved combined sales of rupees 151 crore and profit before tax of rupees 16 crore for the first quarter and at June 30, 2022. They were higher by 62% and 167% respectively, compared to the same period in 21-22. Atul Bioscience at Ambarnath and Atul Rajasthan Date Palms are expected to stabilize their operations in this fiscal. Amal Speciality Chemicals, a 100% subsidiary of Amal, is ready to commission a new plant and investment is underway in DPD and NAVN. The external environment continues to be uncertain. Wait in input prices or freight rates or steel prices or forex rates. Availability of indigenous coal still continues to be a challenge. There is a new threat of monkeypox. WHO has already qualified the disease as a global emergency, but the view as of now is that it is not expected to spread like COVID. Such circumstances take us back to basics, improve consistently, spend wisely, execute sustainable opportunities to grow and live healthy. The more we grow, the higher the need to delegate decision making. Some decisions are consequential, irreversible or nearly irreversible. Such decisions ought to be made in consultation with a larger group. Many decisions are changeable or reversible. Such decisions may be made by high judgment managers in a smaller group. Our effort is to have an apt decision-making process that ensures that decisions are made carefully and methodically, but without losing speed. Kalyani School, Atul Vidyalay, Atul Vidya Mandir, Atul Institute of Vocational Excellence, Atul Adhyapika, Atul Ujwal, and many other projects of Atul Foundation to serve the society are doing well. Education and empowerment projects 
programs positively impacted 22,400 students. And conservation, health, and infrastructure programs impacted 68,000 people. Many of the projects have been well regarded by the local, state, and central governments. I am fortunate to be a part of team Atul that consists of some of the best professionals, and I wish to acknowledge their commitment, dedication, and energy. I'm grateful to the customers as working with them, we are able to serve, improve, and grow. I'm thankful to the distinguished non-executive directors for their insight, guidance, and constructive approach. I value your consistent support as our company moves on its path of sustainable future. Our, complete, our company completed 70 years of manufacture, manufacturing on March 17, 2022. And it will complete 75 years of incorporation on September 5, 2022. As investment underway gets completed, we will take up new projects related to expansions already under active consideration. Our company will evolve continuously and remain relevant with every passing year. In this journey, May God be with us so that in all that we undertake, we remain consistent with the legacy of our legendary founder. So with this, I will now like to answer the questions which we have received in advance. And we have uh, uh, a slide that shows uh, the questions which uh, who asked the questions, how many questions were asked. And uh, the total number of questions were 101 by about nine uh, shareholders. And I'm going to try to see if I can answer all the questions. And thereafter, we can have uh, uh, any other question answers. So uh, first of all, uh, there was uh, uh, there was a comment uh, appreciating the stable uh, trend in performance, and also like the theme of the cover page of the annual report. So thank you very much. Um, and uh, at this point, I would like to remember all those who have built our company in a way that we are able to foster changes of our choice, even after so many years. The second one was to compliment the management about the social initiatives in the field of education, health, infrastructure, empowerment, conservation. Thank you again. What we are doing is a drop in ocean, and there are many opportunities to serve our people in India. Uh, the next uh, question is, uh, about asset turnover ratio, that we are investing about 1,900 crore of rupees, and that will give sales of about 2,300. Uh, so whether the asset turnover ratio is OK. So our current uh, ratio, uh, asset turnover, is about 2.5. And this turnover ratio is definitely low at uh, about 1.5. Uh, even after we remove 475 crores uh, about investment that will not give sales. So asset turnover ratio will vary from project to project. Some projects are for debottlenecking where we have better uh, asset turnover ratio and some uh, major expansions like caustic chlorine and power plant, uh, which have long gestation may give lower uh, asset turnover ratio. But um, we are seized of it. And uh, ideally, if we invest one, our endeavor ought to be to go to sales of two and a half to three times that. The next uh, question uh, was about uh, risk management, how the management is thinking about risk, uh, even unknown risks like COVID, and what is the learning from pandemic. So we have a uh, slide that we have presented here just to give you an idea about the way we are uh, evaluating risk. 
So on the one axis, we have impact on the other probability. And then we go through the high and medium risk in the risk management committee. So we are focused essentially on uh, risks. Yes, um, we had a fire, the fire, no doubt about that. But uh, we are uh, learning and taking all necessary actions. Uh, uh, the other uh, uh, and the learning from pandemic is, is to remain lean, to invest wisely and to use uh, uh, technology. Also uh, have concern about team members and flexi timings and so on. Uh, the next uh, uh, question was on the buyback, whether the company is going to plan buyback on a regular basis or uh, uh, what, is the, what are the considerations of buyback. So buyback will depend on uh, availability of cash, uh, which are the uh, new projects uh, if we are doing new projects, and of course, the market price of the company. Um, if you find that market price is low, then naturally we will like to go for buyback. Uh, and uh, uh, provided, of course, we have uh, surplus cash. Um, the next uh, comment uh, uh, was about status of chemical industry in China in terms of uh, regulations and uh, compliance and uh, demand and uh, the impact of slowdown in China on global uh, uh, chemical industry and our company. So uh, indeed, there's strict uh, uh, environment-related control in China. There's zero tolerance for COVID, as we know. And uh, uh, fortunately, now the other countries uh, have China plus one approach. So that is good news for uh, India, for sure. And uh, just to give you an idea, the overall size of chemical industry in China is about 2 trillion. The world is about 4.7 trillion. And size of chemical industry in India is only about 120 million billion. So you can see that there is a huge opportunity for our country to grow. These numbers which I mentioned are excluding pharmaceutical uh, industry. Uh, the next question is about human resources, whether we uh, can have fewer hierarchical uh, uh, levels, uh, so le less hierarchy, and of course, flat organizations are uh, preferred, and that is our endeavor as well. Uh, we must also take care at the same time that uh, the span of management does not become too large. Uh, so, we, if we have people with uh, uh, who, who take ownership, then naturally the span of control can be made higher or can be made bigger. The next question was about uh, prospects of subsidiary JV and associate entities. So I've already shared with you. Uh, at this time, we have nine uh, production uh, uh, subsidiary joint venture and associate entities. And uh, uh, with the current investment that we have made, sales can go anywhere between 750 to 1,000 crores, excluding Atul Products Limited. Uh, Atul Products Limited, uh, when it completes its project sometime in uh, the last quarter of this year, um, this fiscal, uh, then that will add another 450 crores. So if you include Atul Products Limited, we can expect sales to go anywhere between 1,000 and 1,500 crores of the subsidiary JV and associate entities. The next uh, question is about how our company is dealing with volatility. Volatility in uh, prices of inputs such as crude oil, coal, etc. So briefly, I already shared with you. Uh, but uh, we do see long-term uh, uh, trends. Uh, and uh, uh, because we are uh, uh, not having proper visibility at this time, we do not make long-term commitments with our uh, customers. Uh, next uh, question was about fire uh, and what are the learnings. So uh, we have to store our solvents better, enhance our understanding of chemical reactions better and training to ensure that proper SOPs, uh, the laid down SOPs are followed. So we need to be more rigorous in uh, uh, the training. The next question was about receivables and inventories, whether there is a scope to improve or is this going to be the trend? So definitely there is a need to uh, uh, improve and there is a scope to improve both uh, in inventories and uh, receivables. Uh, although the number of days in both inventories and receivables are 
not uh, so bad. Um, the, we have compared with other companies as well. Uh, R&D expenditure was one more question, uh, whether our R&D expenditure at 0.66% of sales is considered good. The investment is about 30, well, every year the expenditure is uh, in the vicinity of 30 uh, odd crore of rupees. So our company is investing in R&D as required. In fact, uh, uh, science and technology are at the heart of uh, Atul. So uh, initiatives in R&D must go up and we are not uh, restricting any initiatives when it comes to research and technology and te uh, uh, research and development and technology. The next uh, question was about uh, a zero liquid discharge, uh, whether we are implementing as uh, regulated by the government or it is a voluntary action. So it is uh, uh, at least the current investment in north side and south side of uh, Atul, uh, they are voluntary, they are not uh, mandatory. Uh, but uh, the new projects, some of the new projects which we are setting up, for example, in Amal, we have stipulation from the uh, Pollution Control Board to make it zero liquid. So we are following that. Furthermore, we have two joint venture entities, uh, Rudolf, uh, Atul and Enavin. Uh, these two uh, joint ventures also are zero liquid at this time. Uh, the next uh, 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 query was about the relationship of our company with the struck off companies and whether they were companies or they were other types of entities. So the struck off entities were all uh, companies. Um, the next uh, question was about land, uh, uh, what kind of uh, the freehold uh, the land freehold uh, addition of 22.83 crore uh, provide details in respect of location. So we bought uh, land uh, in uh, Bangalore to build Atul House. We earlier bought land in Chennai again for uh, building one Atul House. Uh, it is mainly for retail but also for uh, non-retail businesses. And we have also bought land in Hariya village which is near Atul to increase our uh, manufacturing uh, uh, space. Uh, uh, then the next uh, question uh, or comment was about any affiliation uh, with trade and industry uh, associations. So we work closely with um, industry associations. Uh, uh, the next speaker, there, there, there was, an, uh, let me move to the other speaker, where again, there were, uh, they, he has complimented uh, our team, Atul. And uh, so again, thank you. And uh, then there are some questions which uh, uh, have been raised. And I must uh, mention in the very beginning, uh, 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 right now, that uh, uh, we it is a learning experience uh, going through some of the questions. And uh, we are very happy, in fact, that such uh, questions are uh, uh, being asked even by the earlier speaker. So we appreciate all these questions. I must uh, put it on record. Uh, there was a, 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 a six year comparison, uh, six years uh, uh, capex details uh, have been provided by the uh, our shareholder and uh, the at what uh, CAGR our company has grown. I have already in my talk given you performance, uh, how performance has moved up over last uh, 10 years. So I hope that will be sufficient for the time being. The next question was again about uh, asset turnover ratio. And I have already uh, responded to, uh, 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 to that question as well. Uh, the uh, next uh, uh, question was about the group entities, Atul Bioscience, Amal, Anaven, etc. Uh, where the sales has uh, is CAGR of 22 percent, but uh, only uh, the profit has grown only by 10 percent. So I have uh, briefly explained to you that some of the companies, such as Atul Bioscience, such as Anaven, uh, Atul Rajasthan Date Pumps, they are in stabilization stage, and uh, particularly Ambarnath site of Atul Bioscience, and uh, we believe that uh, we will see improvement in uh, the next. Uh, uh, 
uh, year and even this year, I think if you see the first quarter uh, results of all these companies which I shared with you are definitely better than the last year. Uh, just for your information, one, one question was about NAVN, uh, whether we, uh, the teething problems are over. Indeed, NAVN has, uh, we have completed, uh, the, we have overcome the teething problems and as you can see uh, on your screen, uh, the uh, sales for uh, Q1 uh, has uh, 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 moved up uh, compared to the uh, compared to last year. So the the company is doing much better than what uh, it uh, it was doing earlier. Uh, the next uh, 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 questions were about uh, our pharmaceutical subsidiary Atul Bioscience Limited. Why it has fared poorly? I already shared with you that it was because of Ambarnath site and. Uh, uh, we believe that it will be stabilized from 20. This year we'll do a little better, but it will be much better from 23, 24. Uh, the next uh, question was about, uh, again, about uh, group company sales of 518 crore and PBT of 47 crore. So again, mm -hmm. I have already communicated to you that uh, excluding Atul products are sales of these uh, group companies will be about between 750 to 1000 crore and after atul products uh, reaches its full capacity then sales will go up by another 450 crore these i must mention are approximate uh, numbers uh, one uh, a further question was about retail business that uh, uh, last year we have posted 370 crore and considering the focus of the management and opportunities in brand where do we see this business scaling in next five years this business uh, is limited only by our weaknesses so uh, the more we overcome them for example we are putting new processes we are adding new people we are confident that this business has very huge potential in india itself and also outside you know other companies in this business of crop protection and polymer retail and uh, you can compare our sales with uh, theirs and that is the kind of potential that already exists in uh, uh, retail uh, business. The uh, one uh, suggestion was to devote separate section on retail business. So we will uh, see what we can uh, do on retail. We uh, are managing it uh, uh, separately nowadays, but uh, we are uh, uh, we will try and see if we can uh, give uh, separate information on retail from now onwards. We will get back uh, next year. Uh, next question was uh, uh, that I have already answered is about uh, uh, why, no, maybe I have not answered this, that why we have formed three uh, entities, Atul Healthcare Limited, Atul Paints Limited, and Sehat Food Li Foods Limited. So um, Atul Healthcare Limited, we are putting a hospital uh, project in Valsad, the hospital is going to be about 150 bed hospital in which eventually Atul is going to have 51%. At this time, we will have to begin with, we will have 50%. So that investment has gone through Atul Healthcare Limited. We have started uh, um, a protective coating business. So we have not yet transferred to Atul Paints Limited, but um, we have, uh, that is part of Atul uh, Polymer retail business. So we have reached between 10 and 20 crore of uh, business. Once it becomes a little bigger, then we can shift it to Atul Paints Limited. And then we have, uh, we are selling uh, in small ways some spices. So this company has been formed in anticipation, but as of now, there's no business. Uh, in any uh, of these uh, entities. Then the next uh, was about uh, these different uh, sub-segments like aromatics, crop protection, pharmaceuticals, and colors business, and uh, polymers business. So uh, let me uh, may, uh, say to you very briefly that um, each sub-segment has potential to grow much bigger. For example, you take polymer business. We have already crossed 1,000 crore. And one new project which we are going to implement, uh, we expect sales to go almost close to double uh, in polymers business. And the same uh, kind of growth opportunity to go above 1,000 crore exist in other businesses and that is the uh, mandate with which we are uh, working at this stage so uh, if you take our current sales and you add another 
2,000 odd crore sales that we discussed uh, a few minutes ago. Uh, you can um, uh, uh, roughly say that we will move to about uh, 8,000 crore in the foreseeable future once we reach full capacity utilization. Uh, the next question was about ESG. Uh, and indeed, ESG is becoming uh, very important. And uh, next uh, time, we will hopefully give more information. This time, uh, we have, as a first step, uh, moved from BRR, uh, business responsibility reporting, to business sustainability uh, and responsibility reporting. And uh, ESG must be integrated very well with uh, our business, and that is our endeavor. Next uh, uh, comment was about extended producer responsibility. Uh, indeed. I think we are moving towards circular economy and we need to consistently increase our recycling. So we will be uh, doing that and we are working on it. The next uh, comment was about energy consumed uh, from renewable sources. Uh, we had and why it is low uh, in 22 uh, as compared to 21. So we had problem with one of the windmills and that was the reason why our uh, renewables uh, uh, consumption or uh, generation was lower. Uh, the next uh, uh, comment was about uh, capital uh, funds uh, lying in uh, investments and uh, 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 in mutual funds and so on. So uh, these monies are being used for the new projects which we are going to set up and uh, substantial investment has been made from Atul into the subsidiary and JV entities and uh, also uh, the, the purpose being the same to complete uh, or to execute new projects. Um, the next uh, point, uh, the next question was about uh, how do we improve our profit margins? and contribution margin has fallen down from 40 to 30 uh, percent. So indeed, as I mentioned, we are persevering. And in each uh, function, whether it is uh, procurement, whether it is uh, uh, logistics, uh, manufacturing, sales, we are working to see how profit margins go up. This is our continuous endeavor. Next uh, question, which I have already covered, was about raw materials and freight rates. Uh, another question was about low volume growth. Uh, we had, as I mentioned, 16% volume growth last year. And uh, even in first quarter this year, we have had similar volume growth. So we expect volumes to move up given the investments that we are making and the debottlenecking projects. And uh, uh, the, the other uh, uh, comment was same as the earlier speaker uh, or the earlier shareholder who had uh, asked questions about asset uh, turnover ratio. So we uh, hope that we'll be able to maintain this trend of anywhere between two and a half to three, uh, three times uh, investment. But uh, I must also simultaneously mention that it may not be always possible because we are making also investment which may not generate uh, sales. So. Uh, but they may generate uh, profit. So we are, for example, improving uh, time cycles, or we are, for example, cutting down environment uh, uh, pollution. So that may not directly result in sales, but we have to make investment there, and it will give its own benefit. The uh, next is about, uh, and which I have already covered, about subsidiary and JV performance is disappointing. But please uh, wait for a year, and you see the trend. Uh, I think there was some problem when we uh, uh, wanted to put that slide, but my colleagues had some difficulty putting that slide. If we can, we will show it to you about the subsidiary, JV, and associate entities, how they have uh, moved over the last uh, 10 years. I think that will give a very good idea uh, uh, to you. If we are able to show it, we will try and see it, uh, sh share it with you, or we will certainly put it on the uh, uh, website. So for your uh, benefit. So uh, there was one point about uh, uh, my uh, letter that I write to the shareholders where dissatisfaction with performance is not mentioned. So I, I may not have mentioned, but let me tell you that the potential is uh, very high. And uh, I am not wholly satisfied. So there is a lot more to be done. And we will deliver uh, uh, further. So uh, that is. Uh, 
Uh, now let me move to some other questions. Uh, one question was about 2,4-D uh, 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 and the utilization and whether what is happening uh, opposite uh, the government. Uh, because as you know, that there's a, there was a proposal to ban. We believe that that is, uh, at least as of now, we are okay. Uh, and I must also mention simultaneously that uh, abroad in uh, countries outside of India, there is no ban. And uh, we believe that uh, the government will accept our view and there will be uh, no ban of 24D even in India. Uh, this is what I was mentioning to you about subsidiary JV and associate entities. So if you go back 10 years, in 2010-11, we had uh, two entities and uh, which have increased to nine in 10 years. And that time our sales was 18 crore and now it has gone to last year it was 309 crore and this year already in first quarter we have done uh, uh, I, not this year but we expect to uh, do uh, in 20 sorry in 21 22 we have done uh, uh, 500 crore so we moved up from 300 crore to 500 crore and profit which was minus three has gone to 42 in 10 years and last year was 47 crore and uh, i think it is uh, slated to substantially move up so uh, please wait for a year or maybe uh, so and you will see the the way the profit is going to move further. Uh, then uh, the another question was about uh, commissioning uh, a caustic chlorine project and whether we are planning to set up any downstream products of caustic chlorine. Uh, so certainly uh, caustic chlorine uh, produces, as we know, chlorine uh, Chlorine will be a byproduct which uh, uh, we will be utilizing fully. And in addition, there will be hydrogen that will be coming out and we will be uh, 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 going for downstream products of hydrogen. We already have some, but we will increase further. Again, MCA is a downstream product of uh, chlorine and acetic acid. So uh, we use MCA to produce 2,4-D. So it benefits 2,4-D also. It comes via pipeline, unlike others who have to buy in uh, uh, tankers or uh, in other containers. So. Uh, uh, MCA downstream also we are working at this time. Uh, the next one uh, was about paracresol and paracresidine. That is our uh, the two products which where we have world uh, uh, demand, we, we have world leadership. Uh, and in the analyst meet, I had mentioned that we will be adding uh, about uh, 400 crores to sales. So both the plants are ready. But uh, I must mention that these sales have uh, yet to be realized, and I'm confident that we will uh, realize these, uh, uh, the sales. Uh, it will take a little time, but we are going to be there. Uh, next uh, uh, one was uh, about uh, the uh, capexes, which I think I have already uh, mentioned. But uh, uh, backward integration, we have spent about 800 crores. Uh, capacity expansion of existing products 500 and uh, there was some non ROI 300 crore uh, projects which we had done. Um, we have three subsidiary entities that we have formed recently I already have I have already answered and uh, retail sales also I have already uh, discussed. Geographical breakup of exports uh, uh, so we export uh, in all uh, uh, in every continent, in North America, in South America, Asia, and uh, uh, export potential in uh, uh, is good. Uh, about 50% of whatever we produce is going for exports. Um, uh, products developed during uh, uh, through R&D and introduced during last five years. Uh, so we continuously produce. Uh, 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 new products with R&D, not only products, also formulations. And uh, we try and see that uh, in our portfolio, uh, some products are most uh, recent, uh, between 5 to 10%. Uh, what will be, uh, when will our epoxy plant of 50,000 metric tons uh, uh, be commissioned, uh, as we had uh, mentioned in the analyst meet? Uh, and uh, what will be the peak revenue? So uh, this project is initiated. It will be uh, commissioned within the next uh, one and a half years or so. And the potential, as I already mentioned uh, earlier, uh, it can uh, give uh, sales of uh, 800 uh, uh, odd crore of rupees. 
Uh, then the next question was about higher uh, freight cost and uh, how much we have been able to pass on. Now, we, it will be difficult to see, uh, say uh, how much we are passing on because of freight and how much we are passing on because of raw material price increase. But yes, our endeavor is to sell at the best um, uh, possible price uh, uh, our products, and we are trying to pass on whatever best that we can. Now, we, I move to the uh, uh, several other questions which were there. Uh, that what are the few business variables we are most focused on. So input price is one uh, uh, area that we keep focusing because substantial portion of our um, uh, cost is uh, input uh, prices, particularly the raw materials and the uh, utilities like uh, steam and uh, electricity. So we have to keep a track of what's happening to coal and what is happening to our other raw materials such as uh, toluene and uh, benzene and triquinone and so on. Uh, what sorts, uh, what uh, uh, sort of acquisition uh, uh, we do not go for? Naturally, we go for acquisitions where we have synergy where there's market attractiveness and where there's ability to uh, compete. Uh, whether we are working on existing chemistry or new chemistry, so we work on both new and uh, existing chemistry. Uh, what is the, the competitive advantage in products? So this is about competitive advantage. So we, uh, uh, I must mention that in China, the, uh, the raw material prices are generally lower. So that uh, is uh, what we are concerned and we are trying to find a way. It's not for all products, but in some products we do have uh, uh, China getting cheaper raw materials. The uh, next question is uh, about whether we want to grow in existing market or new market. So of course we grow in both. Uh, uh, how difficult it is to replicate our uh, chemistries in a cost efficient manager well it depends uh, we make 1000 products 500 formulations some it is easy some it is difficult uh, so we cannot uh, specifically respond to this uh, uh, are we having any large supply contracts and uh, do we uh, work for it yes we we do and uh, we have some uh, supply contracts uh, some get over some we renew and uh, some we don't. So uh, in uh, uh, next set of questions are whether we are uh, growing exports in existing or new markets. So we grow in both. Uh, then the uh, next is uh, uh, about uh, competitiveness in exports. So we have competitiveness. That is how we are able to export about 50% of what we are uh, producing. Um, uh, are there any challenges in growing exports? So customers always prefer two or three suppliers. So we have opportunities as well as where we are substantially present. Obviously the customers will like to buy also to have one more supplier. Uh, then the uh, other set of questions, why our uh, profit is low against uh, uh, last year, our profit from operations, as I mentioned, uh, was higher than last year, although marginally. Uh, uh, I just wanted to check, uh, Lalit, uh, this uh, 55 is there, the trending. No? Okay, then the next uh, question uh, is why our profit is low in uh, March uh, quarter, uh, 149 crore against 150 four crores so it, the difference is six crore difference between the two but actually our first quarter profit uh, uh, no this is about last year so last year yes our profit in the fourth quarter was lower by about six crore of rupees so uh, compared to the third quarter i must mention that in fourth quarter uh, sales of uh, crop protection chemicals uh, come down sharply and therefore we may see sometimes some dip uh, if the other businesses have not picked up, we are working with nine different businesses. So uh, generally, some business will uh, be down in that particular quarter, which can affect the, uh, the performance. Uh, how we are seeing June quarter, we have already declared the results. Uh, uh, what happens in next two years, I have already briefly shared about that. Uh, uh, the book value, uh, the EPS net profit, uh, these information uh, are already 
their uh, uh, book value. If you see uh, one of the uh, pages in the annual report, you will find all this uh, information right there. Uh, then you wanted to have, uh, the shareholder wanted to have contact details of KMPs and uh, emails, mobile numbers. Sure, so we will, of course, give them as uh, uh, per law, law, there's no problem. Why the share price is low, 808,300 rupees. Now that uh, share price, uh, the company, it's decided in the marketplace. We don't decide the share price. Uh, then the last uh, 52 week high uh, and low, one uh, 11,000 versus seven uh, or 8,000. So yes, uh, that's the range in which the shares have fluctuated. Uh, then who is operating in the share market? Uh, I do not know who is operating, but there are so many people who buy and sell our company shares. Uh, the historic price was 110, 11,000 rupees, and uh, the current price is only 8,000 odd. So investors have lost uh, money, but uh, we are not uh, uh, that. I think the investors have to take uh, that call when to buy and when to sell. Uh, uh, give details of uh, uh, give good dividend. We are doing the best we can. Uh, next is about corporate governance. So we are uh, fully seized of that. Uh, uh, price to book value uh, is very high. So uh, that uh, again is something the uh, price is determined in the marketplace. Uh, then why our company PE is low at 40? Uh, now that, again, I think PE of 40, some companies have 60, 70, depends. If we do more retail, I think our PE will go up. Pro why promoter shareholding at 45% is so low? 1% uh, increase is about 250 crore of rupees. Uh, the question is how and when, when we are going to further increase it. We, If you see, we consistently buy our uh, company shares for a period of time. Why DII? The domestic institution investors uh, are low at 23%. Uh, 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 and uh, 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 that is something that uh, is their call. Again, financial uh, foreign institutional investors is 9%. Uh, the first uh, 100 shareholders list we will provide. Uh, then uh, uh, I think this loan received, et cetera, this information is already provided in the annual report. What is the repayment in uh, current year? So the, as a company, we don't have any borrowing. Um, uh, the uh, CapEx for current year and next, I have already shared this information and uh, uh, quite a few other uh, details which uh, uh, are uh, asked for. I think we have already uh, 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 shared with uh, this, if there are any penalties, so uh, we, in case if we have a default with a customer, then obviously there may be some penalties. If the companies have received any notices, so we have not, uh, we have not received any notices. So we, uh, 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 appointment, uh, if we can give appointment, so please contact uh, Lalit, we will certainly see. Uh, and annual reports of subsidiary, uh, et cetera. Uh, we are always putting what is required by law on the website. So we can, uh, uh, if hard copies are required, please contact Lalit and uh, add name in analyst meet. So we will, we will do that. So with that, I have, uh, I think, generally gone through all the questions. Now, I think we can go through uh, the speakers who will like to ask further questions. So please feel uh, free uh, to ask any further questions. So the, we have nine speakers. So if we can move um, one after the other, the first uh, speaker may I request uh, 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 Mr. Sunil Kothari uh, to please uh, unmute and uh, uh, ask. <coughs> Thanks, uh, Sunil Bhai. Thanks for this opportunity. I can, but please feel free to ask any further questions. Uh, are you getting my voice, sir? Uh, yeah, yeah, we are able to hear your voice. Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, sir, this is a commendable, the, the way we explain, the way we handle AGM. I, I'm serious of many companies, we attend AGM, but this is the only company who give 
such a detailed explanation and respect to shareholders. So very high regard to you for this and very, very, very commendable, sir. Thank uh, you. Uh, sir, Mike, uh, question already I sent. You really uh, very well explained. So there is nothing uh, very uh, detailed, something to ask. My hearty congratulations to your all, both the team, uh, secretary team, our uh, finance team, the way we are improving on in first quarter, that is also very commendable. But just one thing uh, I want to draw your attention is, uh, I have asked this question also. Basically, what I wanted to convey is that uh, during last four or five years, we invested some 850 crore. Further, we are investing some 1600 crore. Our revenue growth is really good. Profit growth is very good. But in terms of volume, uh, that is that I numbered 3% CAGR. I got that number from Kotak uh, research report. I may be wrong also. My message to convey is uh, over a period, the prices of the all the products are going up. So looking at the last four or five years investment, currently we are doing, and if we compare the prices of our products, we are adding value to our products. We are uh, going for some high value products. So my my concern or my question is uh, the realization per unit is will be higher. So as volume grows, our expectation of the revenue should be far higher than the what we were projecting four five years back. So just trying to understand why where I am wrong. So please, if you can spend some time on this concern because this volume growth during the last four or five years because of COVID, because of summer city was very low. And we have added capability, product prices also gone up. We have added some value also to our products. So if you can uh, give a thought, not now, maybe over a period, whenever you feel uh, reasonably confident about the explaining these things. So that is what one thing I wanted to draw your attention. And so it's a proud to be a shareholder of Atul and we will remain for very long. I'm long term shareholders. I will remain for longer and wish you good luck. Thanks a lot, sir. So thank you, uh, Sunil Bhai. And uh, just to uh, 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 share with you that uh, last year, our growth in volume was, as I mentioned, about 16%. Uh, mm -hmm. This year in first quarter, it is again 16 percent. The mm -hmm. volume has to go up. We have, as uh, again I mentioned, uh, a significant uh, surplus capacity. Uh, we I mentioned uh, again that in paracresol and paracresidine, for example, these mm -hmm. uh, expansions which we have done in Ankleshwar, we have uh, uh, about uh, anywhere about 300, 350 crore of uh, uh, capacity, but these capacities have just come in, and uh, aromatics that 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 Ankleshwar uh, the site uh, products we had uh, last year uh, lower um, uh, demand. So once the demand picks up, which we are confident, uh, I am sure that uh, capacity utilization will go up, and there will be a much higher volume growth as we move forward. Furthermore, all these new capacities which we are adding will also uh, which we have yet to add and which are in uh, which is in the in process also will uh, give good uh, volume growth and our focus is on volume growth because uh, selling price may come up and down True. but uh, volume growth is uh, more important so we see both. What you are saying is true, that selling prices have moved up uh, given the crude oil and other costs which have gone up. So uh, we are quite seized of it that we must not see top line based on uh, just selling prices, but also uh, really based on volume. So uh, thanks for it. And uh, we can uh, maybe next uh, uh, meeting or in analyst meet when we meet, or hopefully now physically in person, we will meet. Then uh, we will share this. I'll make a a point to share this particular item when we meet next time uh, about volume growth. Thank you very much, sir. Wish you good luck. Sure. Thank you. So Thank you, now, may I request uh, uh, Mr. Rupen uh, Masalia to please unmute. Rupen Bhai. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the opportunity. Am I audible, sir? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, first of all, sir, we are fortunate uh, to be a part of uh, uh, Atul uh, as an investor, minority investor since over a decade. And uh, thanks for creating uh, enormous wealth uh, for shareholders like me. Now, uh, most of my questions uh, have already been answered by you. 
just uh, one uh, strategic or you know a longer uh, longer term uh, suggestion or your perspective like uh, you know considering uh, the opportunity landscape uh, available to chemical industry in general and atul with uh, all the ingredients to grab this opportunity you know variables like uh, quality infrastructure management bandwidth or uh, you know uh, very healthy cash surplus balance it so can atul be a multi billion dollar entity in terms of revenue over next uh, say 5 to 7 years uh, uh, from under billion dollar currently of course led is uh, you know uh, highlighted by my predecessor led by volume and uh, of course overall uh, uh, trajectory so that, that's what uh, looking at the opportunity landscape is. so your perspective sir so uh i already mentioned uh, the kind of investment which are uh, underway and the investments which we have completed with that uh, sales ought to uh, at least uh, move up uh, by the value 2300 crore uh, or so and uh, so we expect sales uh, currently we are at 1400 1500 crore of sales per quarter so with that we can see uh, 8000 uh, crore at least that is visible and in addition to that uh, the retail businesses can grow further and can grow substantially we need to first uh, uh, make sure that we our processes etc uh, are right and which uh, and it does take time to establish brand business so uh, yes there is uh, enormous possibilities first of all and uh, as i mentioned also that i uh, uh, am not satisfied with my own self huh? uh, in terms when it comes to uh, performance and we need to do better uh, secondly uh, given the fact that uh, we do not have debt uh, as atul limited and uh, the other entities uh, which have taken debt hopefully will uh, also take care of that and uh, uh, we believe that uh, we can leverage uh, that when there are good projects and uh, which is what we are already uh, uh, are reviewing but uh, we want to first complete these projects which are on hand uh, of this 1500 odd crore secondly we want to realize wherever we have invested we must uh, get the returns so we do not want to just uh, keep on investing without uh, looking back so we want to first invest realize and then move so the investment which we have made uh, already which have just got completed and which will get completed we have to make sure that uh, we get the expected uh, returns which i am sure we will and then take up uh, new it is not exactly uh, uh, that we have to complete this then we'll start this uh, the new projects but uh, we have to make sure that whatever wherever we have invested we see the the uh, the outcomes of what we have done so uh, we will grow and i'm sure that there is a huge scope what you said is true chemical industry has uh, enormous potential and uh, those companies which will take care of environment will have even more potential so your point is well taken so thank you huh, rupen bhai and thanks, sir uh, thank you very much and the best wishes for future thank you thank you so we move to the third uh, uh, speaker uh, mr uh rb shastri uh, uh shastri bhai will you please come uh, uh, online unmute and uh, uh sir uh, good good afternoon everybody ha ji good morning, morning huh? yeah uh, sir as always your agm is very informative the best thing is uh, the uh, answers for uh, questions asked by others is also shared immediately that is a very good uh, very good thing my question is i read that uh, fluorine is the future of the chemical industry are you venturing into fluorine and the uh, second is sir uh, liquidity of your shares because there is wide fluctuation uh, for the last one year we shareholders we are unable to hedge the position uh, because of the illiquidity 
so i request you to consider a splitting of shares as soon as possible thank you sir that is my sure, sure. Uh, uh, so shastri bhai uh, this uh, uh, liquidity we will see the uh, the board of directors have uh, uh, also heard uh, your uh, comment and we will uh, see uh, what uh, we can do uh, what was your second uh, ah, and florine uh, incidentally atul is not in florine there are th three other companies i can immediately tell you uh, are uh, navin florine uh, uh, then srf is in fluorine chemistry and third is gujarat uh, fluorochemicals so these three uh, entities are in fluorine and uh, uh, they, they are uh, if you see their annual reports as well they are doing well so but atul is not in fluorine uh, chemistry we may be having some product with some fluorine uh, added to it but we are not really a fluorine uh, uh, chemistry company so thank you huh? uh, shastri bhai uh, thank you thank you sir thank you very much we come to the next speaker uh, mr uh, uh, bilkis uh, hawa uh, uh, bilkis bhai yeah yeah uh, yeah please go ahead uh, can you hear me yeah, yeah, we can, we can hear you. So, uh, uh, my mother is a shareholder on, in this company from uh, 1970 onwards. And as a matter of coincidence, this is the only uh, inheritance she has from her uh, father. Sure. And uh, I mean, you know, my mother really actually thanks the management for having created some wealth for her. So uh, I'll just ask some uh, questions about, uh, you know, how, what the discussions in our board are about, you know, what are, what do the independent directors really, you know, uh, go to and fro to us on, our, on strategy and, uh, you know, further investments and what are the kind of questions they raise on execution? I would appreciate if this question would be answered by one of the independent director, uh, if at all it's okay with you. Yeah, yeah of course, of yeah. course. And uh, then again, sir, uh, what are we doing to, you know, really improve the gender ratio in our managerial uh, staff, top management and, uh, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, through the workers. I, I, I know that, you know, to employ women at the workers uh, stage is very difficult, in, particularly in a chemical industry. But yet what we can actually do to, you know, really uh, improve the gender ratio and what is the gender ratio at this point of time? Uh, then again, you know, uh, will this rupee depreciation go straight to our bottom line or our contracts with our large buyers won't allow us to, uh, you know, uh, uh, for this to go to our bottom line? Uh, then again, sir, uh, can you just, uh, you know, elaborate more on what our exact plans on uh, AMAL are? Because, uh, you know, we are a very, very shareholder friendly, uh, you know, management. And this is probably our only other company which is listed. And uh, it it is still, you know, in some very uh, small figures, you know, where... Uh, it even does, uh, you know, if the management is keeping it listed or not merging it with Atul, you must be surely having some uh, you know better plans for this company. So if you could just elaborate uh, on 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 the plans with Amal, uh, then again, sir, uh, how many times have independent directors visited our plants and visited our uh, plants where some kind of capex is going on, where where there is some kind of you know uh, execution going on? And uh, can you just elaborate on three to four capital allocations uh, uh, as far as capex is uh, concerned, where we where you refuse to make the investment, you know, and what were your you know thought process in you know refusing that investment? And uh, then again, you know, this is a question which often comes to my mind. It's all very well to say that you know the Chinese government is very uh, uh, supportive of entrepreneurs. The interest rates there are less, but is there a key uh, uh, difference that you feel that there is a difference in in, in the audacity or in difference in thought process between the Chinese entrepreneur and our our entrepreneur, you know, where from where this you know difference of two trillion dollar and one one twenty billion dollars is coming coming across from, and uh, uh, one last question since you you know uh, time and again say that you know you are still not very much satisfied with the performance of uh, uh, of even yourself or even the company, what is this this one thing that you deeply believe in strategy wise as a top leader? And which you can never get your, you know, the uh, the rest of your team to really, you know, believe it equally and, uh, you know, uh, follow you on that. These are my questions, sir. Thank you. Sure, sure. So first of all, I must uh, say that I uh, uh, like uh, the kind of question answers that we are having here. 
and I hope that next time around we have this in-person meeting. Huh, first of all, thank you. Uh, I appreciate it. Much, uh, much better, and uh, welcome. Uh, you please ask any questions because uh, uh, such questions also enrich us. You know, and it's good to have this kind of uh, uh, dialogue. So uh, the point about board discussion, I will uh, ask one of my senior. Uh, uh, board members, uh, or maybe two of them uh, can respond. Pradeep Bhai has uh, just joined the board, in fact, uh, uh, this year. But Baldev Bhai and uh, Datta Sab uh, have been on the board for uh, quite some time. So we will do that. But just to respond to the other uh, questions very quickly, what you were asking, why, um, uh, firstly, I'm not satisfied. Now, um, you know, Atul was started uh, in 1947. And uh, although it started small, if you see the site of Atul, they, there uh, is a huge potential, untapped potential that we have to to uh, realize. So we are working on that uh, already. In fact, um, we have set up a new process engineering laboratory um, to uh, enhance our processes and so on, which will be commissioned during uh, this uh, quarter. I did not mention this earlier, so it's good you mentioned. So uh, this potential. And uh, I think uh, Atul inherited inherently has a huge potential. We uh, have almost all kinds of unit operations, uh, unit uh, processes. So there's no reason why we cannot uh, grow much bigger uh, than what we are today. I'm not talking about only growing top line and so on, but uh, I think doing the right way, uh, making sure that we are present where there's market, market attractiveness, where we have ability to compete. We are vertical, verti we are integrated chemical complex. Uh, there are some products you take, uh, for example, downstream of Paracresol, where nobody will be able to easily compete with us and so on. So there are uh, good opportunities, and uh, that is the reason I'm not satisfied fully. China, I, I think um, uh, entrepreneurship-wise, Indians are no less, uh, but there are certain um, uh, uh, products you take, for example, toluene, then price is normally low in uh, China compared to India. You take caustic, then price is normally lower than in uh, India. Um, so we are trying to find solution. This is not to put forward any excuse uh, uh, at all. We are in India, and we have to perform, and we have to perform globally. So that's what we are going to do, and we are doing. Third, you asked about CapEx, whether we have declined CapEx. Well, I'm just saying offhand that comes to my mind, is we were to acquire a company outside of India. And it was uh, with some, uh, when we were, about maybe a thousand or two thousand crore sales or thereabouts and that other company which we wanted to acquire had sales of about five thousand crore and uh, if that had happened perhaps i may have had to myself shift to singapore okay so we had this discussion in uh, the board and uh, uh, we uh, concluded uh, that uh, it is better to avoid uh, there was another plant I can mention in India. Where this company, what I mentioned, uh, this company I'm talking about had plants in different parts of the world, and it may have been difficult then uh, to to manage uh, with the bandwidth uh, then existing. Uh, another company was uh, uh, I can mention also in Ankleshwar, which we uh, did not go ahead because of environment concerns. You know. So there are uh, uh, many proposals that we have uh, declined. Recently, we uh, declined uh, one acquisition. We are studying two, and one we declined. And the reason why we declined was that the projected uh, earning per share, what they had uh, said they will achieve in the year 21-22, they did not achieve. But they still wanted the same amount of money which uh, they, we had agreed one year ago, provided that that earning per share was achieved. So we declined that. So there are reasons why we decline. Um, uh, th th these are the kind of reasons why we decline. Uh, independent directors have visited Atul. Uh, every independent director visit Atul. Uh, some directors may have visited uh, the new project also that we may have uh, built. But it is not that uh, every time a new project is commissioned, uh, the independent directors will uh, go and visit there. But we always um, have nowadays with technology, we are able to show what exactly has happened via photographs, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, that is about that. Uh, you inquired about Amal Limited. Uh, Amal uh, uh, was acquired uh, from Piramal. Then we removed this PIR. That's how Piramal had become Amal and so on. That company had sales of about uh, 
uh, very small sales. Now we, uh, last year we have done about 40, uh, between 40 and 50 crore. And uh, this new project, which we have uh, uh, done uh, in a way aggressively because a company with 45 crore sales, we have put an 80 or 90 crore project in that, uh, in its subsidiary, among specialty chemicals. So it's very aggressive. It's like Atul setting up uh, another some six or uh, uh, 12,000 crore investment. That's the kind of investment we have made, just to kind of compare it. So uh, there, uh, uh, the sales now will go between 100 and 200 crores uh, uh, very soon. The plant is going to be commissioned anytime uh, this, uh, maybe next month, early next month, the plant will be commissioned. We have all the permissions. So uh, we will be commissioning. We had earlier at some point considered to merge Amal and Atul. Uh, when Amal had carry forward losses of 56 crore of rupees. But that we did not do because uh, Amal itself was able to wipe out the 56 crore losses. Then we would have otherwise got the income tax benefit. So that was about uh, Amal. What kind of discussions we have in the board, we will uh, you will hear it from our directors. But there are two types. One is the statutory discussions, which we have to have, like related party transactions and so on. And the others are related to um, uh, the way forward and uh, operations, operations and way forward. But we have to earn our right to grow. So operations have to be made profitable. And uh, I recollect um, uh, the contribution of our independent directors where we had 500 crore of borrowing and profit was uh, some 25 uh, crore of rupees or even less. So from there we have come to this level. So my uh, respect and my appreciation for all our independent directors, which I always mention. But uh, you'll hear from them. Gender, we will uh, see. Uh, uh, we have uh, put it. Uh, if you go to this uh, 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 business uh, uh, sustainability and report, uh, sustainability and responsibility reporting. Uh, on page number uh, 72, uh, 72 of annual report, the requ uh, requisite information about how many uh, 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 female uh, ladies are working with us. I can tell you when I joined, uh, there was not one. And uh, from there we have come some way, but your point is well taken. And this number is only increasing. In fact, we are now thinking that some positions, we can have only um, uh, ladies, you know, that they may be able to perform better. So uh, that, that, that uh, uh, is on gender. And then you inquired about rupee depreciation. Now rupee depreciation will help us because our exports are more than imports. So uh, generally it will help us, but we have to uh, see the, also that raw materials, even if we are buying in India, they are linked to foreign prices. So ultimately we may not uh, end up uh, really gaining because uh, even we are not importing, but it is as good as importing even when we buy raw materials in uh, uh, in India. So with this, uh, I hope I have responded to all your questions. Uh, 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 Sir, uh, and now I will just hand you over. Responded, uh, you have responded uh, more than adequately. And I mean, this is, uh, I mean, uh, we are almost able to, you know, uh, go into your mind and understand how you manage things, you know, so sure, I, I, I cannot thank you enough, sir. No, sure, thanks. So now I will request uh, Baldev Bhai and Sushim Bhai uh, uh, to give their uh, insight uh, or their uh, respond to respond to your question. Huh? Okay. Well, thanks. Thanks very much. First of all, uh, it's a very challenging question. And I, I would only like to say that the independent directors in Atul challenged the board same way in a very constructive manner. Uh, just to briefly give you answer on the capital investment. We have an investment committee where every project is reviewed. In this review, the questions with regard to capacity, competition, are our competencies in terms of availab availability of technology, uh, compliance with health, safety, and environment, all these are deliberated in detail. And uh, like Sunil Bhai said, the challenges sometimes result in increased in capacity, sometimes decrease in capacity, taking up in stages. But every project is very thoroughly, thoroughly reviewed before investment committee passes it on to the board finally for approval so that that's that's point one 
Second, as as aggressive Atul is in terms of its uh, future growth. I mean, I you can look at last five seven years how the company is done in terms of sales and profit, and especially investing for future. Uh, you look at the Anavin project, new comes I think come up, and even when the project is halfway through, the capacity expanded, and we are looking at full utilization of that capacity. And it was presented in earlier, then in second, third months of operation, how the profits have changed. Similar thing going on in caustic plant, and the further utilization of byproduct like chlorine was discussed even in the last board meeting last month. So those kinds of things get discussed. I can only uh, up, upgradation uh, or renewal of the phosgene plant was challenged in, in terms of its safety. And I think we went through very, various safety reviews before that project was finally taken through. Uh, one of the very important thing also in these discussions is that do we have people to manage these plants? What our succession plan for these is? And I can only say that, uh, and being on the other boards and things like that, that the discussions we have in the Atul board are very transparent, but very open. And that gives us good background to go forward with our investments. The money, your money is well spent, is taken care in as far as I, I'm concerned. Thank you for that. Yeah, of course. Uh, thank you. It's a very interesting question. Uh, a very detailed uh, analysis has already been presented by uh, my colleague. Uh, I would like to remind us that the role of the independent directors and their duties are very well uh, laid down under two laws. One is the, since we are a listed company, the SEBI Act, and of course, by the Companies Act. Okay. Uh, as I said, that uh, this is designed, uh, our duties are very clearly defined under two laws. One is the Companies Act, and the other is the uh, SEBI Act, since we are a listed company. So, I would say that the independent directors observe these duties and these limitations uh, very carefully. And in fulfilling our duties, I would like to say that we keep our approach uh, on the broader line rather than on details. Operating details are to be handled by the executive management and uh, independent directors are only are, are broadly required to see the trend, as uh, uh, Baldevi has pointed out, the trend of our capital investments, the trend of our profitability and the growth of the company, the trend of our manpower requirements and how these are being met, and whether we are not only looking for the present requirements, but also the immediate and future requirements. So these are the issues which are brought to the fore in the uh, committee discussion, committees of the board, as well as in the board discussions. You will uh, be you will be pleased to know that my uh, stint on the Atul board has enriched my uh, own bank of knowledge. And I have le learned a great deal from my senior uh, independent directors, some of whom have retired and are no longer with us. I suppose with that, uh, you would have understood, firstly, the details of the role that we play in the Atul board, as Baldevai has pointed out. And secondly, you have I probably able to explain the our understanding of the role of an independent director and how we try to conscientiously discharge that role. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you can just uh, one uh, information quickly before we move to the other uh, speaker uh, is that um, uh, even where we are not required 
to have uh, non-executive directors from outside uh, at this time. We, our board uh, and uh, we all uh, agreed that it is better to have people from outside on the companies which are entities where we do not legally require to put uh, non-executive directors uh, from outside. So uh, that is another initiative that, for example, Atul Bioscience Limited, we don't need, but we have uh, three people on the board of Atul Bioscience Limited who are independent because we value the inputs of the independent directors. We learn a lot, we enrich ourselves and thereby the companies will benefit. Uh, so with that, uh, uh, Kis Bhai, we uh, can move uh, to the next speaker. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Aspi uh, Bensanya, he is not there. So, we move to the next speaker, uh, Mr. Nirav uh, Jimudia. Uh, uh, Nirav Bhai, Nirav Bhai, are you there? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, please yeah, go. Am I audible? Is my audible? Yeah, yeah, you are audible. Yes, sir. So, excellent question and answer session, sir. I must congratulate you. I think you have uh, answered the questions much in uh, detail and uh, beyond our expectations. Sir, just two, three pointers which I would like to further uh, get a clarification on. Sir, you mentioned about Atul Paints, uh, which we have formed a subsidiary. Our competitor, Grassin, has also been producing epoxy resin and they have announced 10,000 crores of capex for the paint business. So, how do we see uh, our business shaping up? Uh, in the paints business since we have already have a substantial capacity in epoxy and we are also expanding uh, big way uh, by adding us another line of uh, liquid epoxy plant. So this is question number one, sir. Uh, on the second uh, question, sir, you mentioned that on the retail side, we are constrained by our own uh, capacity, sir. I must say there are only few management in the listed space which actually admit that they are constrained by their capacities and generally they blame the outside world. But I think I, I should uh, admire you for your words where you have accepted that uh, we are constrained by our own capacity. So just wanted to uh, get a further sense that uh, when you feel that we'll be able to achieve four figures uh, in the retail side. And since I was reading somewhere in your annual report that we have already have uh, something around uh, 700 people already recruited there. So those fixed costs would be already sitting in the uh, uh, retail business sales. So when do we feel that the this retail business would start generating EBITDA margins as equal to what our company is currently generating on? So at what level of sales you feel that probably we will achieve those sort of levels? So third question is uh, on the MCA. You uh, described it well that it is being used for our 24D plan. Even on the first quarter financial, which you displayed in the PPT, the, the numbers speaks for itself. So just wanted to understand that since we produce through the hydrogenation route, which is the cleanest process, while other players use that batch crystallization process, which is not that eco-friendly. And the MCA derivatives finds applications in detergents, uh, foods, elsewhere. So. What are plans there? So are we currently utilizing those 30,000 tons capacity fully or uh, or now we are planning to expand it to 60,000 tons, which you mentioned somewhere uh, in one of your uh, earlier meetings. So so what's the plan there? How, how do we to take this subsidiary forward? Uh, sir, last two uh, questions from my side is, you mentioned on that 1900 crore capex, uh, you mentioned that 800 crores is for backward integration. I presume that is for caustic chlorine and the power plant. You mentioned 500 crores for the expansion into the existing product. So the rest of the things that I missed on. So, that, like, so this is the break of 1300 crores. So if you can just clarify on the balance 600 crores, that would be helpful. And the last question from my side is uh, looking at uh, the uh, thought process uh, what you have shared uh, uh, in the AGM, I feel, are we making ourselves ready for the 10,000 crores of top line in a way? Because 8,000 crores, you already shared your roadmaps in terms of various projects, but 
are are the company making itself for 10000 15000 crores of top line with the recruitments what you mentioned with the capability buildings what you have been doing and how much further we need to invest if you want to reach you those 15000 crore top line and last would be sir if you can share your volume growth what we have achieved in q1 fy23 on a yoy basis uh, it would be very helpful uh sure so uh um uh, first uh, is uh, about our polymer business uh, you were asking uh, uh, if we can uh, grow much bigger uh, we have uh, uh, invested in polymer business and we are investing further uh, we believe that uh, this business can uh, surely double in uh, or go close to double uh, uh, so we are growing i am not very much for while we have to keep uh, an eye on what's happening elsewhere uh, outside but i think we need to cut the cloth according to our size just because somebody else may be investing x thousand crore uh, that is fine i there are ways to uh, grow uh, which is the best way for us to grow you know there one can go for extensive borrowing or one may be already a very big company uh, that we have yet to become so we are working on it but polymer business is uh, slated to grow so that is uh, as far as epoxy as i mentioned to you we have uh, started uh, uh, this protective coatings uh, because it's in a way forward integration we have started retail business uh, uh, in polymers, which we started with zero. We have come to uh, uh, now last year 210 crore. So we are uh, growing in retail. And uh, as I mentioned, there's a huge scope. When I was mentioning about uh, 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 dissatisfaction or weakness in uh, retail, it's not weakness in a way. What I'm saying is that retail business is very different than non-retail. It's totally different. Uh, retail, for example, we see sales when it is secondary sales, not when we have built to distributor, but when it has got consumed at the end. Otherwise, in non-retail, once the sale has taken place, that sales, you know. So we were earlier even reviewing, uh, like jointly, you know, crop protection bulk and retail and polymer bulk and retail. We have separated out. And uh, now we have brought in new people because we were all non-retail managers within the company. So it takes time, and we have to we have to uh, uh, to make sure. Uh, but it's okay, no? Uh, so we have to uh, make sure that uh, we uh, um, uh, do it gradually. But we will. Uh, we will uh, grow in our uh, retail business. Uh, there's potential, as I mentioned already, is uh, big. Third point you mentioned about MCA. Our plant is uh, the best in the world. Uh, it uh, All the improvements which were done by uh, uh, our partner, uh, they have been incorporated. I must mention that whatever I'm saying, uh, is uh, about the expansion will be obviously discussed with our uh, partners and not it's a 50 50 jv so uh, i will uh, uh, whatever i say we have to uh, about the growth plan uh, yes the capacity uh, has to uh, go to 60000 uh, tons uh, plus in course of time uh, we will move there uh, you inquired whether the plant is running full out uh, the, we are uh, <clears throat> not having any problem in sales, and this is this being a new plant where we have incorporated some features which uh, nowhere uh, uh, were there. So it has taken us some time, and we are still in the process of stabilizing. But most of the problems resolved, and you can see the numbers already, which are showing a significant uh, improvement. Also, it uh, the price of MCA is uh, very good. So we are uh, benefiting. And uh, yes, we have hydrogen process. Uh, nobody uh, uh, in India is producing with uh, this hydrogen process. It's most efficient and the best environmentally friendly process in the world today.
So that was the uh, other point uh, that uh, you mentioned. Then uh, you were mentioning about uh, this breakup of 980 crore. So 800 was about uh, this caustic, 480 were non-ROI projects and 700 crore are the return on investment projects. So that is what uh, is the breakup of 1980 approximately. <laughs> Uh, the other point you mentioned about 10,000 crore uh, sales. Now, I must mention to you that what is at the back of my mind is that Lalbai Group used to be number six in India. And uh, today we are uh, not there, you know. So uh, we need to grow bigger. So I cannot agree more with you. We have to grow bigger, but uh, we have to do it step by step. And that is what. Sir, can I interrupt in between for one for a second, sir? Huh. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so, so 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 just just if I can add a context to it. So, sir, world mostly talks about China plus one, but now what we are seeing between the Europe and Russia, what is happening? I think both can be an attractive business destinations for us. So, are we get, getting those sort of inquired increased inquiries from them, either from Europe or from Russia? Because Europe predominantly was supplier of epoxy to Russia then probably if those trades are not happening, those business could come to India in some way or the other. So are we are we seeing Europe plus one also emerging as, as a theme or probably we can get the, those sort of business inquiries and hence the business from them? Yeah, so we have uh, uh, many uh, opportunities uh, from across the world. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned, again, we are exporting 50 percent we can export even more uh, the challenge um, uh, is that we have to we have to uh, understand the market uh, deeply uh, if you have to enter a country it is not just that somebody will approach us we need to and that is why we have set up all these entities atul uh, brazil and atul usa and atul uh, Europe and Atul China and Atul Middle East and so on. So uh, that is the reason why we are establishing these entities to work closely with the customers in those territories. And we are putting new people there and we are adding uh, our strengths uh, abroad. And that is uh, why I feel confident that we'll be able to grow. Uh, the next and the last question on this, uh, you had inquired about volume growth. I already mentioned that in 21-22, we had achieved a volume growth of 16%. And in the first quarter, coincidentally, also it is 16%. So, uh, but in 2021, it was only 9%, uh, minus 9%, sorry. So in uh, com compared to the year, with the, so the corona year, we had dropped, we, our volume had gone down by 9%. And then year after, we increased by 16%. So partly it is making up for that 9%. And then in this year, uh, first quarter, we have improved by 20, by again 16%. Uh, Retail manpower, you were saying some 700 number. The number is... Um, actually half of it, about 350 people. So, but we are gradually increasing the strength. And uh, I'm sure that as the business will grow, uh, the price earning ratio, as somebody had inquired about price earning ratio, I think will also be better because retail FMCG uh, entities have higher PE ratio. So with that, uh, uh, Nirav Bhai, I uh, hope we, we can move forward. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for answering the questions in detail, and I wish all the very best for our company. Thank you. So the next speaker is Mr. Dinesh uh, Kotecha. He is not here. So we move to the uh, next speaker, uh, Mr. Kirti Shah. Uh, Kirti Bhai, are you there? Yes, yes. Hello. Yeah, Kirti Bhai, go on. Go ahead. Good, after good, good afternoon, sir. Haji, good afternoon, huh? Kirti Bhai. <coughs> Chairman, sir, I આપણે ARC 
अभी लोग काफी इंडस्ट्रीज काफी फंसे हुए हैं बहुत ही बुरी तरह से तो उसमें आप ए की एसेट आपको बहुत ही कम प्राइस में मिलेगी आपकी ब्रांड है आपका नाम है तो आपको तो कम रेट में भी पैसा मिलेगा और वो पैसे के लिए भी आप फाइव परसेंट का कन्वर्टेबल डिवेंचर निकालिए सर मैंने आपको रिक्वेस्ट किया है फाइव परसेंट का कन्वर्टेबल डिवेंचर और ये दूसरी बात है कि आपके जो सब्सिडीज कंपनी है उसको आप सेपरेट अभी से कीजिए उसमें भी पीई फंड का इक्विटी लेके आप आगे बढ़िए क्योंकि तो अभी आप जो प्रॉफिट है इतना सस्टेन नहीं कर पाएंगे नेक्स्ट ईयर भी चाहे आप कितना भी कैपेसिटी बढ़ा लो कितना भी प्रॉफिट बढ़ा लो पर आपका डेप्रीसिएशन कॉस्ट काफी लगने वाला है तो जो आपका जो कैश जनरेट होगा लेकिन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन प्रॉफिट आपका बहुत ही कम हो जाएगा तो उसके लिए भी जरा अभी से सोचेगा तो ज्यादा अच्छा है कि आप आगे कैसे बढ़ना चाहते हो तो और प्रमोटर होल्डिंग में बार बार आपको कई बार से कई बार मैं तो बरसों से आपका शेयर होल्डर हूँ मैं कई बार आपको ईमेल किया प्रमोटर होल्डिंग बढ़ाने के लिए कई बार मैंने अपॉइंटमेंट मांगा आपसे इंडिया में बहुत ही हजारों करोड़ के लैक्स ऑफ करोड़ के इन्वेस्टमेंट भी मेरे को ईमेल में अरे मना अपॉइंटमेंट देते है और मैं उससे बैठता हूँ और मोबाइल पे वो एब्रोड से भी मेरे को रिप्लाई देते है करते हैं एस का भी और व्हाट्सएप का भी तो मेरी आपको रिक्वेस्ट है कि कभी आप मेरे अपॉइंटमेंट का एक जगह देखिए आपने अभी ललित जी को बोला है कि आप के की डिटेल दीजिए आपको बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट रहेगा चेयरमैन सर अभी जो आपका प्रॉफिट मार्जिन है नेट प्रॉफिट मार्जिन वो 2021 में था 17.96 पॉइंट परसेंट इट केम डाउन टू टेन टू इलेवन इट केम डाउन टू इलेवन वो बहुत ही रिस्की है वो जरा आप देखिए कि उसमें क्या है नेट प्रॉफिट मार्जिन जो आपका था ऑन एन एवरेज 17.96 पॉइंट परसेंट था टू में 2022 में हो गया 12.17 परसेंट और मार्च क्वार्टर और ये जून क्वार्टर में आपका 11 पॉइंट समथिंग रह गया है 11.12 पॉइंट परसेंट जून क्वार्टर में मार्च क्वार्टर से भी कम है 11.46 पॉइंट परसेंट था नेट प्रॉफिट मार्जिन तो उसके लिए भी जरा सोचने की जरूरत है और प्रमोटर होल्डिंग का आपको खास बढ़ा नहीं चाहिए ये एफ का होल्डिंग बहुत डेंजर है जैसे ही मार्केट वर्ल्ड खराब होगा एफ माल बेच के निकल जाएगी और मैंने आपको स्प्लिट के लिए भी रिक्वेस्ट किया था वो भी जरा देखिए आपने मेरे को दो साल पहले से मैं आपको लिखता हूँ मेरे पास कोटक के चार हजार शेयर थे मेरे को बेच के अतुल में जाना था लेकिन आपकी तरफ से कोई अपॉइंटमेंट नहीं मिली कोई रहने को कोई ये रिप्लाई पूरे ईमेल का नहीं मिला पर ये टाइम पे आपकी आपकी सेक्रेटरियल टीम ने एनुअल रिपोर्ट सब्सिडी कंपनी और सब सारा सही तरह से भेजा हुआ है इन एडवांस और ये अपॉइंटमेंट ये जो अपना मीटिंग का भी स्पीकर लिंक भी उसने सही तरह से भेजा हुआ है मैं धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूँ और मेरे ईमेल के पूरा रिप्लाई करेंगे विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू थैंक यू एंड वी आर सेटिंग अप अतुल प्रोडक्ट्स लिमिटेड वी हैव सेट अप अमल स्पेशलिटी केमिकल्स लिमिटेड वेयर द इनकम टैक्स इज गोइंग टू बी 17 परसेंट सो वी होप दैट वील बी एबल टू ब्रेक डाउन द इनकम टैक्स सो थैंक यू कीर्ति भाई फॉर ऑल योर इनपुट सो वी हैव द लास्ट स्पीकर Oh, for today, Tejas Bhai, uh, Tejas, Mr. Tejas Shah, Tejas Bhai, are you there? No, Ali, Tejas Bhai, I think he must have gone. So, uh, thank you very much. Uh, with that, uh, uh, the outcome of the following resolutions will be uh, decided. by the e voting uh, results and communicated in the prescribed uh, uh, manner uh, uh, the, so i'll just uh, read out the resolutions the first uh, resolution is to adopt the financial statements for uh, 2021 22 the second is to declare dividend on uh, equity shares the third is to reappoint uh, gopikanan thirukonda as a director uh, and uh, fourth uh, item a uh, fifth item uh, is to uh, sorry fourth item is to reappoint uh, deloitte as the statutory auditors uh, the next item is to reappoint mr bharti mohanan as whole time director and the next uh, resolution is to appoint uh, mr pradeep banerji as uh, an independent director for five consecutive years and uh, the next is to ratify remuneration to the cost auditor mr uh, the, this r nana boy and company uh, so with that uh, the uh, 
uh, let me just mention this as well, that the shareholders who have not cast their votes through remote e-voting earlier may cast their votes through CDSL uh, e-voting portal by accessing it from the CDSL NSDL uh, depository participant website as per the instructions given in the notice of this uh, annual general meeting. And this will remain open uh, up to 30 minutes from now. So with this, I wish to thank all the shareholders for uh, their time and uh, uh, coming here. Uh, this Punch uh, and associate, uh, uh, Associates, company secretaries will uh, scrutinize and submit their report on uh, uh, voting. And the voting results will be uh, declared later during the day. And I authorize uh, uh, the company secretary, Lalit, to complete the necessary formalities in this uh, regard. So once again, thank you and uh, uh, for this orderly conduct in this virtual AGM. And I hope we can meet next time in person. And with this, I would like to close the proceedings of this 45th annual general meeting of our company. Thank you.